All right, in these two examples, we're, we're asked to expand. That means we're gonna take a look at a single log. We're gonna try and pull it apart into a bunch of different logs. So on this first one here, I'm gonna say if this is equal to, now look, we have division, right? Division means that we can turn it into two logs and turn it into subtraction. So I'm gonna say here's log base A. Now what's the numerator? X squared Y to the fifth. Then minus, because it was division, log base A of the denominator, which is Z to the fourth. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look here and we're gonna see that we have a product. So that means I can write that as log base A of X squared plus log base A of Y to the fifth, okay? Remember, multiplication inside of one log becomes addition of two logs. Then I still have minus log base A of Z to the fourth. Now what we do is we take all the powers and we pull them out. So we're using that last property. The two comes out, two log base A of just X plus five log base A of Y minus four log base A of Z. And that's it. We've expanded a single log out into actually three different logs here. All right, let's take a look at the next example. The next example is a little bit tricky. Okay, what we want to realize first before anything is that all of this, even though it's a fraction, is sitting underneath of a cube root, the entire thing. So what we need to do first is we need to rewrite the root as a power. So remember, cube root is the same as raising something to the one-third, right? And that just comes back to this thing, this um, exponent, rational um, exponents thing that says that the nth root of x is x to the one over n. So just remember that, that's why I'm converting this. Now, before I can get in here to the fraction, gotta take care of this power, I'm gonna use that property that allows us to pull the power out in front. So I pull a one-third out in front, I have natural log, and then sitting in here is a b cubed over c to the seventh. Now, we know that the division now, we can split it up into two logs and create subtraction. But be careful with that one-third that's out front. That one-third has to hit whatever this becomes. So I'm gonna put a bracket here, and I'm gonna say this is natural log of the numerator, a, b cubed, then subtraction, natural log of the denominator, c to the seventh. Okay, see how that works? This becomes two logs, subtraction. Now what I'll do is I'll take the multiplication that we have in that first log that's right here, I'm gonna break that into two logs and make it addition. So I have one third still out here, bracket. I have natural log of A, okay? And then I have plus natural log of B cubed. And then I have minus natural log of C to the seventh. And then all of that's inside the bracket. Now I'm gonna pull any powers I can out. So one third here. Natural log of A, I can't do anything with, plus three natural log of B, minus seven natural log of C. And now the last thing to do is distribute one third through to each of our terms. So our final answer will be one third natural log of A. Now one third times three gives us just one, so we have natural log of B. And then one third times negative seven gives me negative seven thirds natural log of C. So that's it, we have expanded that expression. In the next video, we're going to go the opposite direction. We're going to start off with something like this, and we're going to try and condense it down into a single log.